What's up, everybody? I'm Cam. I'm Ryan, and you're right, right on, on time. time. Hey, everyone. We're so glad you're here. You're right on time for some family time. And since we're all God's children, that makes us all family. Aw, I just love all my brothers and sisters out there. Now, let's have some good old family fun. Let's do it. First up is today's Daily Challenge. I hope you're ready, because this is a challenge like you've never seen before. That's right. We're going to be eating with baby hands. I'm so ready. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> Man, Cam, these foods look delicious, but I feel like it's gonna take us forever to eat them. I so mean, probably. I guess we should go one course at a time. What so let's start with. Uh, let's start with the gummy worms. Okay. All right, let's see if we can eat gummy worms with baby hands. Does it have to be one at a time? I mean, I, 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 I think so, but the fingers are so tiny. Mm. That was a good one. Look at that, you're balancing it. You're really good at that. Oh, so dainty, so delicate. Oh, I got two on Ooh. one. Look at that. Look at that. Quick. Mm. <laughs> got it. Okay. No. To the noodles we go. Oh, it's like chopsticks, but difficulty level 10. Uh, oh, man. I wasn't lying. I think I just bit a finger. <laughs> <laughs> Was it yours? <laughs> Thankfully, no. Mm. See, when you get them in your mouth, it's totally fine. It's just the, the journey. Right. Up to the lips, that's the hard part. Mm. Mm. Very tasty though. Mm. Mm. We have to get the carrot. Then we have to get it in the sauce. Oh wait, so it's gotta be carrots ranch in- Ranch dressing. Carrots then... into the ranch, into the mouth. Yep. Oh, talk about double dipping. All right. All right, so step one is just getting the carrot. Maybe I should start with the big one. These don't have the texture that the gummy worms did. See, that's 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 what makes it hard. Okay, I've got kind of a, oh, well, I, I dropped it, but I dropped it in the ranch, so I'm gonna count that as a partial success. Oh, this is, you were doing way better than me on this. Oh, wait. I bit a finger again. If we're, these were real, we'd have problems. I'm gonna bite something. I just hope it's a carrot. <laughs> got it, okay. Got one. Now my fingers are covered with ranch. Baby ranch hands. All right. Sort of just looks like you during dinner time. Hey, okay, well, <laughs> you're not wrong. All right, gotta try one more carrot. I'm just gonna drop. I missed the ranch. How did I miss the ranch? Okay, into the ranch. The carrots are slippery. Very slippery, very delicious. And then the ranch is double slippery. Yeah. Ah. That carrot just really, really, really wants to stay in the ranch. Now I've got this submerged. This I, is- I, I technically got ranch on that, that counts, right? I got about 800% more ranch than I did carrot on this. I'm a little terrified. Mm -hmm. Bathing my baby hands in ranch. Mm. There's so much ranch. Mm. I mean, I like ranch, but whoo! <laughs> wow. Okay, did we do it? I think so. We got the gummy worms, we got the noodles. We got the carrots in the ranch. Lost a few carrots along the way, but that's all right. I count that as a success. Let me finish this carrot. Mm. <laughs> mm. Man. Yeah, okay, so that was definitely one of the weirdest things I've ever done. <laughs> but it was also so much fun. Just like it's so much fun to get together with your family and do a little karaoke. Here, let's gather around and sing a song. Tell me that's what matters most. 
what's good to live me to live in the way that I should God says what's good to live me to live in the way that I should be kind each day living number two obey whoa You'll do it right. Raise your hands and touch the sky. Stomp your feet if you feel the beat now. Lift your voice and sing it loud. Everybody sing it out now. Whoa. And dancing is something that families should do more often. I agree completely. <laughs> you want to know one of my favorite things about being a part of a family? What's that? It's that you always have people to help you out when you need it. That is so true, Ryan. But sometimes no one wants to help you out. And that's when you have to work hard to forgive your family. You've got that right. I remember this one time, my mom made her super special cookies for our family reunion. Now, mom only makes these cookies for special occasions, so I was really excited <laughs> to get some. They were delicious, huh? Well, they might have been. But this time, while they were fresh out of the oven, sitting there, cooling off, my brother snuck in and ate every last one of them. All of them? Yes, and I was so angry. Those cookies are my favorite. I would have been angry too. Now, on top of that, I told my mom what he had done, and she wasn't angry at all. Oh, that made me furious. Well, what did you do? Well, I said a couple of mean things to her that I won't repeat because I really should have never said them in the first place. Oh, no. Uh, Ryan, what happened next? Well, my mom told me to go to my room to cool off, and that just made me even more mad. But while I was up there, I decided to just pray and ask God to help me work through it. So I opened the Bible app on my phone, and I read this story. Here, check it out. I can't stand doing homework. I'd much rather do what I want. You know, watch TV, play a game, or go outside. Unfortunately, if I don't obey my parents and get my homework done right when I get home from school, there are consequences that I have to face, like no TV, no video games, no fun. You guys have been there. Obeying isn't always easy, but it's what God wants from us. Joseph obeyed God when he forgave his brothers and gave them food for their families. When they had eaten all they had, their father, Jacob, had no other choice but to send his sons back with money for more. Joseph's brothers made the journey to Egypt. As they arrived, Joseph saw them and sent his servant to invite them to come to his house. Luckily, Joseph was happy that they had returned and wanted them not only to have a big meal, but to have their feet washed and their donkeys fed. What a guy. As Joseph went in to see his brothers, they bowed down to him, giving him gifts that they had brought from home. Even though Joseph was their brother, they still didn't recognize him. He looked different in all of his fancy and royal clothes. Joseph wanted to know more about their family, and he began to ask them questions. As he began to talk, Joseph noticed his brother Benjamin. He loved Benjamin so much that he started to cry and ran out of the room. After he pulled himself together, Joseph came back to see his brothers. He gave them more food and sent them on their way. When they were not far down the road, he sent his servant to bring them back. Joseph had planned a way that he could test his brothers, but he knew it was the wrong thing to do. He couldn't stand it anymore. He started to cry saying, it's me, your brother Joseph, the one you sold into slavery. Don't be upset. God sent me ahead of you to save many lives. Joseph's brothers were really afraid at first, but Joseph reassured them of his forgiveness. He even invited them to bring all of their families to live with him in Egypt. Joseph's willingness to do what God wanted led to great things for him and his family. When we obey God, we don't always see the good come from it right away, but we do know it's what God wants. Speaking of that, I guess it's time I go knock out the rest of this homework so I can go have fun. See ya. It could not have been easy for Joseph to forgive his brothers for all the things they had done to him. They took his special coat his dad had given him, threw him in a pit, sold him into slavery, told their dad he was dead, and never checked on him again. But so many good things happened when Joseph forgave his brothers like God tells us all to do. And if Joseph could forgive his brothers for everything they had done, 
I knew I could definitely forgive my brother for something as simple as eating the cookies. That's so true. But what happened with your mom? Well, I walked downstairs and told her I was very sorry for being disrespectful. Then I told my brother that I didn't think what he did was right, but I forgave him for it anyway. What happened next? Well, he told me that he was sorry, and we both worked together to help our mom make some new cookies. <laughs> oh, good job obeying, my friend. I'm sure that was not easy. So now we know that forgiving others is one way to obey God, but what are some other things we can do to obey him? Micah 6, 8 is a verse in the Bible that tells us exactly how we can obey God. That's why we've been trying to memorize it over the last few weeks. Let's see if you can remember it by filling in the blanks. The Lord has shown you what is. The Lord has shown you what is good. He has told you what He requires of you. You must act with. You must act with justice. You must to show mercy. You must love to show mercy. And you must be. And you must be humble as you live in the sight of your, as you live in the sight of your God. Nice job. Remember this verse and you'll remember how to obey God. Remembering that verse will definitely help us know how we can obey him every day. I'm so glad that God cares about us enough to show us what is good. And you know what else is good? A family movie night. That's right. And it's what this next game is all about. This is gonna be fun, but you have to be able to obey the instructions in order to win. Think you can do that, Ryan? Of course. <laughs> okay, so we'll take turns drawing a card and each one has the name of a movie on the back of it. The person who draws has to get everyone else to guess the movie, but there are some words on the card that you cannot say. And if you do say one of those words, you'll hear a sound like this. And you have to get a new card. The person who gets everyone else to guess the most movies before the timer runs out wins. This is gonna be so fun. You can go first. Go. Okay, number one. Um, oh, okay, uh, this is this is the movie about um, the kids and they're like the, the children of all the main people from the other movies and uh, they, um, um, uh, it's got that song, uh, Rotten to the Core. Oh, um, Descendants. Yes, yes, all right, great. Okay, next one. Oh, okay. Um, this is the one about uh, the 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 son uh, Luke who has to fight Darth Vader with his lightsaber. Oh. And oh no, I said I said lightsaber. I, I couldn't say that. Oh. Okay. Uh, next one. All right. This is the one. It's uh, it's set in the ocean, and there's uh, the dad and his son, but then they get separated, and the dad has to find his oh, son. Oh, oh, Finding Nemo. Yes, Finding Look. Nemo. Okay, great. All right. The next one. Oh, oh, okay. This is the one. Um, um, Justin Timberlake sang the song. It was real popular a few years ago. Um, just imagine, just imagine. Uh, um, uh, trolls. Yes, trolls. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, time. Oh, it's okay. All right. <laughs> You're going to be hard to beat, Ryan. And go. All right. Uh, this movie has a bunch of animals in it, and they're all from Africa. And uh, there, there's a, a a ruler, and his brother ends up being evil, oh, and his uh, um, son has to come the, back. Uh, and, Lion King. Yes, Lion King. Yes, yes. Yes. Lion King. Okay. Uh, then we've got. Oh, okay. This movie is about uh, little uh, toys that like click together, and and there's Batman, and, um, and um, there's a guy, and it's everything is us. Awesome. Oh, oh, uh, the Lego everything movie. Is, yes. The Lego movie. Yes. Okay. Uh, so. This one, there are uh, there are people that, that do a bunch of magic and, and oh shoot, I wasn't supposed to say. Oh, okay, that. I couldn't say magic. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, so this one is about uh, a holiday, and there's a guy, and he travels, and he's trying to find his dad, and then he he finds a guy in a mall who's pretending to be somebody else, but he actually knows. Oh, oh, uh, uh, elf. Yes. Elf, elf, yes. Oh, time, time. That was so hard to obey those rules and not say those words. Okay, let's see who won. Okay, so I had one, two, and three. Got one wrong. I had three and got one wrong. Wow, so it was a perfect tie. I guess that means that we both won. <laughs> All right. 
Whoa, okay, that was fun, but man, it sure showed us that obeying isn't always easy. You're right, and obeying God is good, but it can be really hard to do sometimes, especially when it comes to forgiving someone. Talk about a time when you obeyed God by forgiving someone. Hmm, this is definitely something that I've had to do before. See, where I'm from, a lot of the people around me have a lighter skin complexion than I do. And as I got older, I started to see and, and realize that because of this, people treated me and my family a little bit different. This was something that was tough and difficult at times and, and still is. Like there was this one time me and my dad were at a gas station and my dad was walking into the gas station and he, and he passed the car and they locked the door like he was about to break in or something. This was something that confused me a lot because if they would have known my dad, they would have known that my dad would never hurt anyone. Or there was this one time me and my friends were playing Star Wars and they told me I couldn't be Han Solo because I wasn't white. Now I know my friends weren't trying to hurt my feelings, but it's something that, that really hurt me in the long run. But God told us that we should forgive others. So even though that they never said sorry, I obeyed God and forgave them because when I didn't forgive them, it was just hurting me in the long run. So I obeyed God and forgave them. Wow, what a powerful story. For real. And that's such an amazing challenge for all of us to obey God by forgiving everyone around us. And speaking of challenges, it's time for our next one. Rapid, Rapid Fire, Fire Review. Review. Yes! One of us is going to recap everything we've learned today in one minute or less. But there's a catch. While one of us is reviewing, the other one is going to be throwing things. If the reviewer is able to name six things we've talked about today during that minute, the thrower has to put their hand in the mystery box. But if the reviewer doesn't name at least six things during the minute, they have to put their hand into the mystery box. And since today is all about family time, there's probably something in there that families would do together. Okie dokie. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I'm excited to see. I guess one of us will find out soon enough. Let's play a game to see who gets to choose what they're going to do. Rock, paper, scissors? Let's do it. Okay, so whoever wins gets to choose if they're going to review or throw, right? Right. Okay. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> scissors cuts paper. <laughs> I got this. Let's get this review party started. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so today we learned about forgiveness, uh, obeying God by forgiving others. Uh, we looked really closely at Micah 6, 8, and uh, we unpacked the idea of doing what God tells us to do, because uh, he's told us what to do. Uh, our theme of the day was uh, family time, and we ate with baby hands. That was cool and kind of weird. Uh, we read about Joseph and how he forgave his brothers, which I can totally relate to. And then we heard the story from the real person who had to deal with forgiveness. Uh, then you and I guessed the names of movies. That was super fun. And I think that makes six. I I think this is. Good job, Ryan. Oh, I guess that means I have to put my hand in the mystery box. All right, let's see. Oh man, something in here is moving. What? I think it just bit me. What? what? But it feels kind of hard, and it, it doesn't really hurt though. And well, let's see, some families have pets, so maybe it's a, a, a baby turtle. Baby turtle. Baby turtle. <laughs> Cam. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not at all what I thought it was, but I love this game. Me too. Why don't we play after we check this out? Wow, what a blast it's been learning about how we can obey God each and every day. Obeying God is something that isn't easy at times, so we're going to need his help. So let's ask him. Father God, thank you for telling us what we should do and how we should live. Please help us to obey you by doing what's right and help us to go first in loving and forgiving others. Thank you for always loving and forgiving us. We love you, amen. That was such a great prayer. It sure was. I'm gonna be praying that on the daily. Seriously. Hey, we're almost forgetting something. Oh, you're right, next week's challenge. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be so fun. You wanna know what it is? Yes. <laughs> Too bad, you'll just have to wait for next week to see. Okay, surprise it is then. <laughs>